the batch notes for August 7th are actually already out on the official Snowbreak website. And although I covered all the content that is coming for the Mindeng Ritual patch in the last video, there are some new details that are being covered in these patch notes, so let's go over it. The first new information is that some of the content is going to be time gated. So we're going to be able to try out some of the content only after a while. And it looks like we'll be able to get all the stuff that I mentioned in the last video, like Cirrus, the outfit for Chen Xing, Five Star, Consumptive Crane, and the logistics squads were through the event shop called Luck and Fortune. And we'll be like able to exchange the event currency for them. The next detail is that we'll be able to farm this currency from these stages. Then we also have a new game mode, which if you play the CVT is probably going to be like Clash of Honor, where you defend against waves in a defense style kind of game and you can even jump in this stage that this is over here. So we'll be getting rewards for this as well, the Dragon Breath token. But they haven't given a lot of details about this, but we'll see about that. And the taste gameplay is another new mode where we saw that Chibi Avatar of the Accident doing like kind of a mini game. That's probably what this is. Then we have the trial gameplay, which I'm not sure what it's exactly about, but I think it's the roguelike game mode that we saw with the map. But uh, they haven't given a lot of details about it. We have the new banners, of course. Some people have been wondering if they carry over or not. So limited characters don't go into the standard pool. They'll only be available for the limited time. And the pity that you have will actually carry over to the next limited banner. So that's what they've specified over here in clear language this time for both the character and weapon banner. They're going to have actually a rate boost for life wild hunt as well. So we're, going, we're getting a banner for life wild hunt as well, which is interesting. But I guess if you're a life fan, then that's big news for you. The new weapon's name is Anti-Evil Ward, and so we're getting a banner for that. It's probably going to be the 5-star Assault Rifle for Chen Sheng. We're getting memory chip bundles as well, so what this is going to do is, this is going to allow us to farm more shards for other characters. So you're still limited to only farming 2 S ranks at most, but you can farm more S ranks or A rank characters if you need to using these memory chip bundles, right? So for this limited amount, you can farm shards of other characters that you really need for a while, which is not super useful because you almost always want to get to the next manifestation instead of just farming a few shards. Uh, but I think this is going to accelerate at least the farm for A ranks if you need manifestations for any of them, but I don't recommend it. You're probably going to get A rank uh, dupes from pulling, and once you've actually exhausted all of your pulls, then you should try farming through these. But you can also get it through Neural Simulation Shop, right? So think about it. Then they are also adding some packs that you can purchase. And they fixed some stuff, so all of this new content is coming out, new characters, new weapons, new personal files, new logistics, new operatives in the base, the new store that they mentioned last time, the weapon exchange store, and the weapon components system is going to be added, and the new outfits, new missions to the Vanguard Pass with the Mindang Ritual, and they also added some display actions. Rakashia Kaguya, Life Wild Hunt, and Tenshin Ethereal Cloud on the main interface. So I guess they're making some of the limited banner characters even more special with more actions on the home screen. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do with that. They made some optimizations, so the weapon modification changes are going to be finally added in this patch. And they're also changing the rewards for the stars that you got in the main story stages for the normal difficulty. So we're going getting a bunch of Digicash compensation for this as well. Plus some more stuff in the ultimate pass, which is nice. 
and we're getting the smart aim option which is basically going to be auto aim for mobile and they added some changes for penny coronet's ultimate skill as well but we'll see what this is I'm not sure what they fixed and there's some a few other fixes and bugs that they went through like come on like how does marian swift have so many problems <laughs> she just keeps getting buff because of her bugs getting fixed uh, but we'll see how they are now this is pretty big fix the problem that the attack of auxiliary units was incorrectly judged after the attack was hit i'm glad they changed this okay they've made some optimizations and fixes for bosses and whatnot that should make some stuff smoother and easier and they fixed some level issues as well mostly in giga link it seems like giga link was quite buggy overall i haven't faced that many issues though in giga link and i've even streamed the whole thing i streamed every time i've done giga link on my account or at least my content creation account but yeah that's basically all the patch notes i'm excited to try the new game mode the challenge stage dispute of the towers i want to see how they've changed it from clash of honor Hopefully it's not too tedious and uh, very rewarding. Uh, also, I don't know what this Dragon Assistant Station is. I want to find out what that is. Because this doesn't seem to be related to the event shop whatsoever. So we'll see how that is. And it seems like it might be good to save your inhibitors, so like your stamina stuff, to maybe farm the event stages if they require it. So I would recommend start saving it from now. Um, the daily free stamina that you get and the stamina that you're getting from other places as well. Unless you really need to level up for unlocking new game features. That's all for this video. Hope you found this useful and have a nice day.